Hello, good morning. The frequently asked question is, if you are a dual citizen and you have two passports, which passport do you present when you're traveling to the Philippines? Okay, so that's the question. And uh, you hang loose and I'll give you the details. I have two passports and I'm traveling, let's say, from the U.S. to the Philippines. Which one do I present? First of all, when you go to the airlines, uh, they will be asking you for a passport. You can give them this because this will show that you can stay in the Philippines for as long as you want. That is not immigration. That is just the airline. And the reason they're asking you that is they want to make sure when you get to the Philippines, you have the visa or the passport to stay in the Philippines because if you don't, they will get penalized heavily, very heavily. And that's the reason why they're asking for it. It's not for immigration. However, in the United States, when you're exiting the U.S., they, there is, you, you don't usually go through uh, immigration. Uh, you only go through immigration when you're coming to the U.S. When you're exiting the U.S., there is no immigration. Now, if you feel more comfortable, you can also show them this. Again, that is just to satisfy them that you'll be okay. The problem with presenting a U.S. passport is your stay will be limited. And if you have a ticket that's, let's say, two years or one year return, they may say, oh, gee, you know, this, this is not enough because uh, you will only be allowed to spend 30 days or one year if you're a Balik Bayan. Uh, but by giving them this, it will automatically uh, allow you to, uh, to board a plane to get to the Philippines. Now you get to the Philippines, what do you do? You present them with both. Both passports will be presented at the immigration office in the Philippines. And the reason is they will stamp this uh, admission both in the uh, Philippines and also in the uh, US. Uh, the date you are admitted is going to be stamped on both passports. Now, when you come back out, unlike the US that doesn't check passports when you get out. When you're getting out of the Philippines, you also go through immigration. You present them again with both passports because they will stamp uh, the, the exit date both on the uh, U.S. passport and the Philippine passport. Now, when you get to the U.S., all you have to present is this passport. This passport tells the U.S. that you are authorized to stay and live in the U.S. and They'll ask you, well, where have you been? So they will look at this and they will see the entry stamp and the exit stamp. That suffices for the U.S. So again, to get out, use Philippine passport in the U.S., okay? To, uh, not immigration, but the airlines. When you get to the Philippines, you use both, okay? Then when you get out of the Philippines, you also use both and make sure that you're U.S. passport is stamped with entry date and exit date, okay? Then when you come to the U.S., just show them the U.S. passport. If in doubt, it's okay to present both. Don't be afraid. Don't have to hide. Everything is legal in the United States. They do accept dual citizenship. And in the Philippines, of course, they'd love you to be dual. So, so in, in, in either case, it's okay. Now, the question is, what if you are in the Philippines and you want to travel uh, somewhere else? Uh, and I'm going to use one extreme, let's say Cuba. I think Filipinos can travel to Cuba, but not Americans. So you cannot use a U.S. passport. You have to use Philippine passport, both in and out, okay? And as far as the U.S. is concerned, you have never been to Cuba. Uh, let's say you are in the Philippines and you want to go to Japan, Tokyo, whatnot. I don't know what the, uh, what the visa requirements is for Filipinos, but I heard that sometimes it's better to travel with a Philippine passport and not the U.S. passport because you get more privileges as a Filipino citizen. So in that case, only use the Philippine passport. Ignore the U.S. passport. So you only use this when you come back to America, okay? And you will need two stamps. So uh, that's all I can tell you. Unfortunately, I do not have the requirements if you're living or traveling to and from different, uh, different states. Uh, uh, if I do, I'll give that to you, but, but I don't. So 
Uh, if you have any questions or if, if you want clarification on anything, please comment down below. And I'll appreciate it if you like and subscribe so that you will get updates on my future videos. Have a nice day.